Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I will have another episode of drink video and I'll compare three different types of coffees from three different big brand names, McDonald's, Starbucks and Tim Hortons. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you appreciate variety, please go ahead and come back for more. If you're only looking for drink videos, there'll be links in the, des in the description box below. So I have done a few coffee and tea videos and I always wanted to do a compare or comparison video between uh, three uh, different coffees from three uh, different uh, big brand names. Hello everyone, so I have uh, Tim Hortons coffee right here and uh, the McDonald's coffee right here and the next to it I have uh, Starbucks which I have it uh, right here. What I noticed that uh, in the past uh, whenever I went to a Starbucks uh, it's uh, like self-service so you have to you know put it put your milk and sugar or cream and sugar uh, yourself uh, they wouldn't you know put it uh, at the store but this time I noticed that you know the uh, guy asked me for uh, how much sugar and milk I want and I once I told him that uh, he put it uh, by himself and I asked him actually that you know whether this is something new and then he mentioned that uh, due to COVID uh, they're actually you know uh, putting cream and sugar or milk and sugar at all Starbucks uh, especially this is in Canada I'm not sure about you know other Starbucks in the world but in Canada he said uh, they're putting uh, cream and sugar at the stores uh, due to the pandemic but definitely when I was there before the pandemic uh, you had to do on your own uh, they wouldn't put uh, cream and sugar but uh, it's different for uh, McDonald's and Tim Hortons they would always put you know cream and sugar whatever you want uh, you don't have to do anything so it's not self-service uh, you get a whole uh, coffee all like 100% done Another thing I noticed that uh, only Starbucks gave me the uh, sleeve. Uh, this is like you know just to uh, protect you from uh, heat uh, if it's too hot. But uh, for McDonald's and Tim Hortons, you have to ask for it or you have to get it on your own. They wouldn't uh, give you. But at Starbucks, um, it was just you know there or the guy put it. I didn't have to ask for anything. Uh, if you look at the lid or cover, it looks like McDonald's has the best uh, cover or lid. So I'm just going to open them up. And I'm just going to, you know, show you one by one uh, because it's going to be easier. Okay, so what's happening here? This is a McDonald's lid. So if you take a look at it, so it looks like this is the most, uh, you know, uh, friendly, user-friendly and most uh, expensive lid. Uh, you can tell by looking at it. And also you have to just like, you know, push it uh, 
under down and then you can sip it and uh, Starbucks I'm sorry uh, Tim Hortons uh, have uh, the second best one and you have to just kind of like you know break it uh, right here and uh, the Starbucks looks like they're still giving the you know uh, cheaper version of the lid uh, they haven't improved their leads uh, this is what I saw like you know many years ago so definitely McDonald's has the best lead uh, among these three and these coffee actually they're all uh, small I asked for the small size and looks like you know Starbucks small is actually bigger than uh, McDonald's and Tim Hortons looks like you know slightly smaller uh, in size than uh, McDonald's but I have a feeling that you know probably they hold the same amount but definitely uh, Starbucks has a little bit more coffee than other and all this coffee they're you know one cream uh, two sugar so if you take a look at it uh, let me just put it a little bit closer actually I'm going to just empty out like you know all three of them just to show you a little bit better okay so I have to take out coffee from all of them and looks like this actually this cup has a mixture of coffee of uh, all three uh, this is like you know Tim Hortons, Starbucks and uh, McDonald's this is uh, how Starbucks coffee looks like and this is how uh, McDonald's coffee looks like this is how Tim Hortons coffee looks like so in terms of how it looks like uh, Starbucks looks a little bit darker and looks like you know McDonald's looks the lightest and it's, uh, Tim Hortons is kind of like you know slightly in between and uh, so let's just start now tasting them I'm, I'll just remove this one uh, before removing this I just tasted this coffee and it tastes kind of like you know weird because it's a combination of a Starbucks a McDonald's and Tim Hortons okay so we have now three coffee and let's start with the Starbucks so I'm going to just you know try uh, one by one and see how it goes so here we have the Starbucks so I'll just test this first okay so let me just get the McDonald's, uh, which I have it right here, and I'll just taste this now. And here we have uh, Tim Hortons, so I'll just try this now. Okay, so all of them have uh, two sugars. Uh, but I'm not sure the Starbucks coffee uh, doesn't like you know taste like it has sugar so it could be that you know it's a bit uh, bitter and McDonald's coffee actually uh, tastes the sweetest uh, all this to sugar and Tim Hortons coffee is like you know somehow in the middle so now let me just uh, sip them again so the Starbucks coffee is a bit bitter and stronger so definitely you know uh, this is the nature of a Starbucks coffee that you know they give uh, the strongest coffee and I always find it uh, a bit bitter and if you're not used to it then you're not gonna like the taste of a Starbucks uh, for that reason actually I would prefer to have uh, McDonald's and Tim Hortons so this is a very strong coffee and even after like you know two cream it tastes a little bit bitter to me so I'll just uh, you know get McDonald's again and let me just sip again So this is a very balanced coffee. I would say a well-balanced coffee. It's not, uh, you know, bitter. It's not uh, lighter. So it's just somewhere in the middle. And what I noticed about McDonald's coffee is that uh, regardless which location you buy from, they are always very consistent, and the taste wouldn't fluctuate a lot. You are going to get like you know exact same thing or almost uh, you know same coffee everywhere. And that's what I'm getting right now because I remembered this taste and uh, this is what I had it you know other uh, McDonald's location and I, I, I like it uh, this is uh, you know uh, so whenever you're buying coffee from McDonald's you can uh, know or you can be assured that you're going, going to get what you're used to it's not going to fluctuate a lot uh, let me just try Tim Hortons again so the problem with Tim Hortons coffee is that uh, actually it's not the problem uh, it, the taste differs uh, based on where you're buying from sometimes you know they miss they give you very bad coffee sometimes if they're 
you know, they make perfect coffee, then you're going to get the best coffee. So this happened to me a lot. I went to, let's say, one Tim Hortons, and I didn't like the coffee. Then another uh, time, a few days later, I went to another Tim Hortons, then I liked the coffee. So it depends on who's making the coffee. And I have a feeling that, you know, uh, their, uh, they have, their beans are from different sources or I don't know how they brew their beans but they are not like you know the same uh, at every location they fluctuate so whenever you're buying coffee from Tim Hortons you know you're not gonna get the same thing uh, it all depends uh, where and when you buy it and also uh, you know probably uh, the person who's making it it always fluctuates but Tim Horton, uh, sorry, so McDonald's is more consistent in terms of you know taste and flavor and everything so you're gonna get the same coffee or almost same coffee at every location and uh, uh, Starbucks is like you know you're always gonna get the slightly bitter coffee stronger coffee than the rest so if you are like you know looking for a small stronger caffeine boost or more caffeine then definitely you know Starbucks is the way to go and also this is more expensive this is kind of like you know close to three dollars and these two are close to two dollars so you're like you know paying almost a dollar more for starbucks coffee and you're gonna get a stronger a bitter coffee now i'm liking mcdonald's the most before i thought you know i would prefer tim hortons better than mcdonald's and i never had them like you know uh side by side at the same time but today i'm gonna have to say that you know uh i'm liking mcdonald's coffee more than tim hortons coffee at this time but in general, I prefer Tim Hortons coffee uh, more uh, than McDonald's coffee, or this is my uh, most favorite coffee. But today, I can f feel the taste and everything that, you know, this tastes slightly better than uh, Tim Hortons. But they're very on par. They're very close to each other. But, you know, uh, Tim Hortons is going to fluctuate uh, whenever or based on where you buy, but McDonald's is more consistent. So... According to what I had today, I'm going to say here that, you know, I had the best coffee from McDonald's and this is based on my taste and needs. And Tim Hortons is very close and the Starbucks is just, you know, a little bit too dark. So I'm not going to, you know, uh, usually go for Starbucks unless I need a heavy uh, caffeine boost or heavy caffeine. Uh, so... In general, I'm going to prefer either McDonald's or Tim Hortons, but in today's, like, you know, uh, testing, uh, I have a feeling that I have the best coffee, and this is from McDonald's. So that's my conclusion. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. Uh, if you like what you see, please go ahead and subscribe. And I have uh, more coffee and tea videos, uh, which will be uh, in the description box below. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, there will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.